what's the right question? Well, what does that even mean? <laughs> the protein folding example is a really nice case to look at this, this problem of what's the right question. And this is a great example to say, actually, what goes right if you ask the right question? If you formulate the question well and ask the question in the right way, then the methods follow. In this particular case, they did so well at identifying questions that could then be assessed. And because they were being assessed relatively independently, the method didn't matter. Therefore, lots of different methods could be used and thrown at the problem and assessed independently. And you weren't just applying a single technique to a problem, but lots of different techniques to a problem. And that is what was so wonderful in this protein folding case. They had a whole set of methods thrown at it. Different people use different methods. They come at the same problem from different angles. And the protein folding example is such a powerful instance where by clearly defining a question which was of importance and asking the right question for what was needed, you can then see which methods are able to add value and are able to move us forward related to this question. If you identify the right question, the methods follow. The methods aren't what's important because the question determines everything. And this protein folding example is a great case to show, to show and illustrate this and what's the right question. Thank you.